What's up and welcome to Calgary Barbell HQ. All right, so we're here in beautiful, sunny Calgary, Alberta, home of Calgary Barbell, and we're right out front of HQ. We got our facility here in, I say early 2022. We've got about 2000 square feet that HQ is housed in, and it took us a while to kind of, to get it to where we thought it was presentable, but we spent a lot of time fine tuning and tweaking and personalizing the space, and now we want to show it off. So come on in. As you walk in, obviously one of the first things you see, other than all of the equipment, is gonna be the giant Calgary Barbell logo on the wall. This uh, bad boy is about 16 feet long, to give you a sense of scale. And this went up well before any of the equipment or flooring or anything else. So putting that thing on the wall was a pretty, uh, pretty special day for us. Moving on from that, like I said, the equipment. I'm gonna to try to give you a pretty good idea of what's in here. Obviously you can kind of see everything as you walk in, but we'll give you a quick rundown. So our first priority was getting comp racks. And we have two ER comp specific powerlifting racks and we have the piece de resistance, the literal centerpiece of the gym, the Aleco brand new charcoal rack, which was a, a kind of a big deal for me because I wanted something that was exactly what I'm gonna be competing on. The height of it, the dimensions of everything, how sturdy or wobbly it is, and more specifically, even this bench pad, because I love that thing. Now, also, we're not gonna get a whole bunch of comp racks without other comp equipment. So we have four comp spec powerlifting bars that are competition legal, brands, all that kind of stuff. And then we have, I think, four or five other bars, deadlift bars, trap bar, all that kind of extra stuff. On top of that, we've got a Leco comp plates, full set. We have a very robust set of challenge plates that are uh, pretty old at this point, but they, they, they got some character to them, you know? Now, if you're a competitive power lifter and all you care about is the power lifts, you're set. But we wanted to be able to fill out and ensure that we had enough for all kinds of fun accessories and things. So we've got a decently robust selection of machines from leg press, chest supported row. We've got Seth. Uh, I mean, you can't beat a good Seth, you know? We got uh, dumbbells from five to 120, couple benches, back extension. We got multiple cables, pulleys, an additional rack with dip station, all that stuff. Uh, leg extension, leg curl, chest press. We got machines. You wanna do accessories? We do. Real quick, I'm gonna show you the best way to get your steps in for the day. So what I do every morning is I come in here and hop on this treadmill. There's a little lip here or up on top and I take the handles off my switch and I literally just walk and game for 20, 25 minutes. And now I'm getting eight to 10,000 steps a day. Boom, life hack. Now, a big part of what we do is we make YouTube content. So let's take you into the mind palace of Calgary Barbell. We also, one of the things that we wanted to have here was the ability to keep all of our equipment in one place. We can bring it out, shoot, leave it set up, go edit quick, reshoot. It's, it's a cool kind of like functional, very dynamic process, but the magic happens in here. Well, what the? Wait, Dylan, if, if you're there, then who's? Just that good. All right, now we're gonna conclude with one of my favorite parts of this gym. And this is more or less a collection of stuff that my wife doesn't want in our condo. So I have my record collection, I have my hi-fi stereo system, all of my cassette tapes, my compact discs, the flags and the album art, and all that stuff up on the walls. We got this cool little TV thing that maybe we'll do something with, but for right now it's just there because it looks cool. We got this, Dope-ass dragon table, some fight sticks for Street Fighter tournaments, and a super comfy couch. And one of the things, again, we wanted to try to create with this space 
was a lot of different sort of sets and scenes. And if you've watched our videos, you've probably seen this one in there. So it's all very intentional. It's a lot of me poured into the space and I do feel like it's kind of my own little personal corner, which I like a lot. So thank you for coming along to the tour. If you ever want to visit, if you're in town, reach out, send us an email, hit us up on Instagram. We'd love to have you here for a training session. And other than that, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for coming through.